Hi, this is Roger DeRue. My website is freecomputerconsultant.com. And in this little screencast video, what I wanted to show you was how you can uh, prepare yourself for a uh, somewhat unlikely event, but one that I do see frequently enough to comment on because it's kind of serious when it happens. And I've just got here a, uh, an image of it uh, because ordinarily it's not a Windows screen you can really capture or show. But you might get this message sometime when you're booting up your machine. Windows could not start because the following file is missing or corrupt. And it will have Windows, System32, Config. I might say system, might say software here. And what that's referring to are two very important registry files that Windows uses to save your configuration. The system is more the, uh, the, uh, the hardware of your machine and software obviously more things that have to do with the software that's installed. If you lose either of those two files, Windows will not boot. And a lot of times that happens because maybe uh, the machine didn't get shut down properly or uh, maybe even the hard drive is starting to go bad. And because those two files are accessed quite frequently and very heavily, uh, sometimes the hard drive will actually kind of start failing there first. Now, if you get this uh, message here, if you go to Microsoft site, they'll tell you, well, you put in your, uh, your your Windows CD and boot from that, and you can try to recover. And yeah, that might work, but a lot of times what that's relying on are these files down here in Windows Repair. And uh, what you're seeing here is like this file here, Security, Software System. These are these files that you might see as being missing or corrupt. These are backups of them. But look at the dates. I'm doing this in June of 2008. These files are from December of 2006, probably when the machine was first you know, set up and configured. Uh, restoring these files is not going to do you a lot of good. Uh, you're going to uh, you're going to end up probably reinstalling a lot of uh, a lot of drivers and and software, and it's not going to be very fun. Now I can talk about doing image backups, which are my favorite type of backups. But uh, if you if you get to something like this, then, then you're you're not going to have that. And I like to have as many tools as possible to try to recover from a problem, and uh, and there's a real easy way to update these backups. If you go to your Start button, Programs, uh, Accessories, System Tools, yeah, I know, they bury it. And here's the, the built-in backup routine in Windows XP. And what I like to do is uncheck this box here and uh, not start in wizard mode, just cancel right out. Come back in and just get the, the regular backup utility. Here I'm going to click on Backup. Now here you see the uh, the options for backing up, and what you're going to want to check is system state. And that is, is just a special backup that Windows can do that records system information. But one of the side effects is it will take the current registry and it will create current backups in this repair directory. And we can watch that happen. I'm going back to the backup utility. You can just actually uh, put this backup. Now granted, if you put it in a place other than your C drive, it's, it's going to do even more good. But uh, even just putting it on your C drive is going to update those files in the repair directory and you'll be glad you had them. And we can just uh, start that. And we can actually uh, come back here in just a moment. As you can see here, the backup is only 13 and already these files down here, system, software, security, SAM, uh, and, and default, these have all been updated with the current date and time. And notice uh, the software, for instance, uh, registry file was about 8 meg before. It's now three times that size. Uh, the system was, again, about maybe a, a third or a quarter of the current size. So there's a lot more information there now. So even if we canceled out of this, we have still performed a, a, a valuable function in the recovery of our system from a, a potentially very serious problem. Okay, now our backup is complete. It only took uh, 2 minutes and 10 seconds. It really doesn't take very long. We can close that. Now, if you want to get fancy about this, you can actually uh, you know, save the job and schedule it. And you can do that right here on the uh, Schedule tab. And just uh, add job. Backup selected. Oh, excuse me. Uh, uh, take the only backup the system state data. And you can choose a location, type a name for the backup. You can verify or not. I don't think you really need to at this point. You're probably going to want to 
replace the existing backups. And when you want to run the backup, and you can just put in here system state backup, and you can set a schedule, and you can say weekly, um, and, and just and just you know pick something that works out for you when your computer's on. Uh, there are a lot of settings that you really don't have to pay too much attention to, and uh, select OK. You can input a uh, username and, and password here to make sure that they, the account login uh, uh, can access the data and uh, save it. In this case, I just canceled it, but that's all it really takes. And you can have this job actually run automatically for you, you know, say once per week or, or once a month. Uh, you know, once a week might be good. Again, it doesn't take very long, but you're really going to be glad you had it if you call a computer professional such as myself to try to recover from uh, a, a message like this. It really is pretty nasty and a lot of times does result in uh, a reload of Windows and all your programs. The uh, the, uh, the benefits of that uh, can be kind of handy once in a while, but I guarantee you if this happens, it will be at the worst possible time, and you will not want to be doing any kind of a repair install or a complete reinstall of Windows at the time. But that's it for this video tip. Please visit my website, uh, freecomputerconsultant.com. I've got a lot of other information on there. I've got other videos, tips, things like that. You can sign up for my free newsletter. But that's it for this one. Thanks for watching.